Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following pure substances, which are gases at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. A. NH3 gas. B. BH3 gas. C. H2 gas. D. H2S gas. E. HBr gas. Question 7. Which substance has molecules with a pyramidal shape? You might say pyramidal. Either is fine. This is A, NH3. There are only two possibilities in this list, um, A and B, because these are the only two molecules where there are four atoms. But NH3 has a lone electron pair, which allows it to form that pyramidal shape. BH3 doesn't have any extra electrons, so it forms a trigonal planar shape. So you'd want to review Vesper theory to understand this question. Question 8. Which substance is a strong electrolyte in aqueous solution? This one you just have to know from memorizing lists of materials. Strong electrolytes are generally strong acids or bases, or most salts. In this list, I recognize that HBr is a strong acid, so it's going to be a strong electrolyte. Question 9. Which is the slowest to effuse through a small opening at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere? Gases with a higher molecular weight effuse more slowly than gases with a lower molecular weight, so we need to calculate the molecular weight of all these gases and pick the highest one. You'll use the periodic table to find the gramatomic mass of each atom and then sum them together. I'm going to use the values from the periodic table they attach to this test. Um, because the one that I have has more decimal places, so you'd get a slightly different answer. Some of these you could eliminate using reason. For instance, you know that H2 is going to be smaller than H2S, or BH3, or NH3, but I'm going to go ahead and calculate them just for completeness. NH3 equals 14.01 plus 3 times 1.008 equals 17.034. BH3 equals 10.81 plus 3 times 1.008 equals 13.834. H2 equals 2 times 1.008 equals 2.016. H2S equals 2 times 1.008 plus 32.06 equals 34.076. HBR equals 1.008 plus 79.90 equals 80.908. HBr has the highest molecular weight, so it's going to effuse the slowest. The answer is E. Be sure to subscribe to Socratica so you don't miss our next video, which will cover questions 10 and 11 of the 2008 Chemistry AP. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with your friends. And if you're very happy with all these videos we're making at Socratica, we'd love it if you would consider becoming our patron on Patreon. You can make a small donation every month, and that way you'll help us make more of these high-quality educational videos that are free for anyone to learn from on YouTube. Thank you.